Hey guys, so today I am here with my huge Etsy sticker haul for the month of April. I have made not quite a few, but like more than last month's orders uh, for this month. So hopefully this month is a little bit longer, although I'm sure a lot of you still enjoyed the shorter month last month. So I'm today with week one here with two shops. I have Scribble Prints Co. The Mystery Stuff, and then I have Crest Press. Crest Press was closed the majority of last month, so that is why Crest Press was not featured last month. So I'm gonna get started quickly with Scribble Prints Co. because I do have the two sort of mystery items that I brought home. So I brought home the Ultimate April Mysteries Ultimate Kit, which I totally love. The theme was brunch, which I thought was just so cute. And the colors were so nice. So I didn't bring home the post-it notes because I just wasn't a huge fan of them. I told you guys last month, those are my hands down favorite and I hardly use them. So I only bring them home if I know I'm gonna use them. So this is what the Ultimate Kit looks like this month. So you got your Ultimate Kit freebie two of the extras on top here are the brunch date a uh, little like I want to say appointments but they're not they're just kind of like little thing slightly bigger than little thing size um, and they just say brunch date in various like backgrounds I guess you could say some that you could use in the kit and some that you could totally use outside of the kit and then the other extra is these four full boxes of the two girls eating brunch and then you have your front page here. I totally love this deco, this avocado toast. I actually cut this page, so staring at this avocado toast and this waffle was seriously killing me the entire time. I love this. You have your half boxes page, your functional page here, headers and your patterned washi, littles, labels, and some solid washi, your heart checklist, your ombre heart checklist, which are all sort of the same pattern, which is really cool. Your full boxes, which I am totally in love with. This is a double box, but it is cut. Seriously, this is the cutest. I love it so much. And then you have your bottom washi, date cover strips, and extra full box, which is basically the same thing without the girls in the front. And then the last freebie that came in the kit was the glitter sampler. So you have the glitter sampler, which is awesome. So that is April Mysteries Ultimate Kit from Scribble Prints Co. Like I said, I love this. I love the colors. It's very like February to me, but I totally could use this whenever. And then the other item that I brought home was actually the Color Club. Typically, I bring home both Color Club and Glitter Club, but I decided from now on, I think I'm only going to bring home Color Club because I feel like I tend to use the solid functional items more. So the theme for this month's Color Club was Popsicle Colors, which I totally love. Reminds me so much of the summer and spring. So the items are the appointment labels, so skinny, large, and then your daily habits. Then a functional sheet here with two weekend banners, flags, heart checklists, three heart boxes, weekly um, ombre, and then some mini icons, ombre heart checklists. Um, half boxes and quarter boxes and somebody said this before but you could totally make an entire spread out of this just so you guys know your dots your icons headers little things and then the new release or the extra in the color club were the scribblers which i thought was so cute so you have popsicles and then you have scribblers and various things like a dress uh, bathing suits and um, hula skirts which is so cute so i did bring home the color club this month as well Okay, and then from Crest Press, I have two orders, but three separate packages. I'll start with Crest Press's April Mystery as well. I try to get everyone's, like, mystery stuff if the, like... I want to say promo in image, but like the sneak peek is something I'm interested in. And I think she might have done a sneak peek of one of these girls or like a floaty or something. And I was like, oh yeah, 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 I want that. So I did get the full kit and I love how it's a little bikini. So I'm going to show you guys what came in the April mystery from Crest Press. And the theme is Welcome to the Jungle. So the mystery kit did come with glitter headers, which I love. These are typically a la carte in her shop, but with mystery kits, you do tend to get these. And then it also came with this extra here, which is the tall boxes and then a double box. So I love it. I just love it. I love it so much. Already obsessed. Okay, so this is the format. I think she switched it again to be vertical because this used to be horizontal. It was vertical, horizontal, and then vertical again. So she has icons on top, a weekend banner, some of this like functional text right here, uh, half, or not half boxes flags, heart checklists. And then the next page is new, so you have all your little deco up here, which I totally love. And I love that this is a little bit smaller because it's easier to use. Two daily habits, two flags, date dots, date covers, and then two weekly check boxes. Then you have your full boxes. I think this is, may have been one of her sneaks, like this with this was one of her sneak peeks, but I was totally obsessed with it. Love these full boxes. So cute. 
And I love the colors. And then this is Two Bill Do's, a scalloped label. I love these scalloped labels. A flight tracker, a movie marquee, two more of these appointment labels, three heart checklists, quarter boxes, and then half boxes. Then you have your headers and little things. Heart check boxes, which I like how the heart is the different color, so you can still color block. And then bottom washi, washi strips like pattern, and then some solid washi over here, which is awesome. So that is the Caress Press April Mystery Kit, which I'm totally obsessed with. I love this so much. And then the other items that I got, um, I think this one was in that order, maybe? I'm not sure, because I ordered two things when I ordered the April Mystery Kit. So this, I believe, is just a kit. And then this is her freebie really cute. I love the cactus, the unicorn, the cowboy stuff. Like, whew, so me. I love it. Anyway, so this is the Blogger Babe full kit. I got this one as well. I think I got all full kits from her. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just obsessed. So like I said, this is the Blogger Babe full kit. I also did purchase the a la carte glitter headers because y'all know that's who I am. So then this is the front page, um, your deco and date covers page. Like you can already tell from the deco, like I love this so much. Here are the full boxes. It's very like galaxy. It reminds me a lot of like Tumblr. It's very, very cute. And I love her little braids with like the gray hair. Amazing. Okay, and then the next page is the sort of functional page, headers and little things. Heart checklist. I wonder if she's going to do this from now on because I kind of like this. And then you have your bottom washi and then washi strips. So very cool. This is the Blogger Babe again full kit. I'm going to keep this freebie aside and then keep that. And then the last order that I made was the other day actually. I just got one kit because she's been coming out with a lot since she was closed for a little bit. So I did get the same freebie again, which I'll probably use because I love that cowboy boot. And then this is the Palm Beach full kit, which I totally love. Okay, let me show you guys. So again, I did order the a la carte glitter headers. And then this is the color scheme. Oh, and then there's a tall box here instead of a ton of deco. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Here are the full boxes. I got this because, okay, when my grandparents retired, they moved to West Palm Beach, and literally this is what their sofa looked like, and it gave me so much nostalgia that I was like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna buy this because this reminds me of my nana and my papa, so that's mostly why I got it, and I love it a lot, and I think I'll either use it in the summer, like late summer, maybe like August or September even, or I'll hold off until next year because I really do love this kit a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, seriously, this is my grandparents' sofa. So, that was everything for this first part of the haul. Okay, guys, so I'm here with another part of my April Etsy sticker haul. This one is a little bit larger because I this is two weeks basically combined because I didn't film the past week. So, this is just two weeks combined, and I did have quite a few things come in. So, I do have a pretty hefty order from Fox and Cactus, um, some things from Scribble Prints Co., lots of new releases, a kit from Evie Lou and Co., and then two kits from Glam Planner. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the two kits that I purchased from Glam Planner. These were pre sale kits. I think I purchased these in February, maybe? I'm not sure. But anyway, and I also don't remember the exact names of these. So anyway, so with these comes the little pre-sale freebie. So it's just a bunch of these little, like, appointment labels, basically, that say pre-sale day with some of her kits on them. This, I believe... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I feel like this might be the Escape to Paradise kit. I don't really know any of these names. I'm sorry, guys. Um... But this is the pre-sale double box, exclusive double box that you get with your kit, which I really like this. And then this is the full boxes, and this was before she came out with the, like, add-on stuff. So from every kit I've ordered, like, then, like, since then, I have gotten the, like, add-ons of, like, the heart checklist and the date covers and stuff. But anyway, I really do love these full boxes. This little, like, top here with the shorts is so cute, and I love the girl with her big sunglasses. Your heart checklists. You have half boxes, two weekly check boxes, some flags, a bed, a credit card, some planning things, a movie marquee, daily habit, and appointment label, and then another super like functional page with your weekend banner, some more deco, which I love, more flags, asterisks, icons, appointment labels, a clean these, a buy these, your headers and little things, and then your bottom washi and washi strips. So that was the first kit. I'm sorry I don't remember the names. I don't, ugh, I'll figure it out eventually. So that was the first kit. The second kit I think is called Silver Rose. I really like this one. It could be used as a wedding kit. It, but I also really like it just as like a neutral just like pretty neutral kit because I like the flower crowns so this is the pre-sale exclusive double box 
And then, sorry if it's a little blue. I hope it's not too blue. Um, I've been messing with my camera settings, so I hope this is, like, okay. And then you have your full boxes, your ombre heart check boxes. Or not even ombre, but heart check boxes. The same sort of, like, half boxes page. Deco page, which, like, you can see, it, it could be totally, like, wedding-ish. But I also feel like it could also not be wedding-ish. So whatever works. Uh, headers and little things. And then your bottom washi and washi strips. So that is everything that I ordered from the Glam Planner that I have here today. Day. and then I'll show you quickly my Evie Lou & Co order. Um, she came out with a bunch of like summary kits and it was hard not to purchase all of them. I think there was three in total including this one that I really loved. One I actually used last year that I kind of wanted to repurchase but I think I'll wait. So I went ahead and just got the Flamingo one and she put Thank You Kirsten on here which was super super sweet. And so um, I also ordered the a la carte glitter headers to go with that. And then this is like the kit exclusive freebie or her freebie. So all the colors sort of match the kit, which is really nice. And you get a lot of like functional deco items. So here is her. Oh, also, by the way, she's reformatted and I love her reformat. So anyway, here are the full boxes. I really love this. It's so plain, but also so cute. I love the flamingos. Then you have your ombre heart check boxes, headers and little bits. And then this page is new, so you have a bunch of these like labels. So four of the labels, which she's done before, four appointment labels, two daily habits, two bill dues, these three heart checklists, an important appointment box, and then date covers. And then this page has all your half boxes, some more of those labels, and some skinnier labels. Another full box for your thankful thought, which I really, really like, the daily or weekly um, ombre boxes. And then, this page is new, which I love, so we have all the flags up here, a payday, a date night, a weekend banner, date dots, and like, you know, extra dots here, some icons, and then heart checklists, which I really appreciate because her kits never had heart checklists before, and that's what I was always missing, and I'm really happy that's in here now. And then you have some washi strips and bottom washi. So this was the Flamingo kit from Evie Lou and Co., and I loved all of her summer kits. They were so stinking cute, but this is the one I ended up getting, of course. And then I'll show you my fox and cactus order. I made a pretty large order because I've seen a lot of people haul new stuff from them. And I just, I really, I'm obsessed. I really do love fox and cactus. It's one of my favorite shops. And then the little sticker has a bunny on it now. It's so cute. Okay, so pretty hefty order. So this has a little like, oh my god, it's you. You're one of the sparkly unicorns who has returned for more and we love you for it, which is so cute. I thought this was adorable. And then this is her actual little freebie. So you have, um, I don't remember what the dark haired girl is, but she's like a green ombre, which is really cute. Oh, so cute. Anyway, so that was her freebie. So the stickers that I actually ordered, oh, and she wrote me a little note, which was sweet. But the stickers I actually ordered were the little, like, sunburned one. I get all the girls in the, her name's Rose, because she has dark brown hair, and that's my hair color. But this is, like, the sunburned ones, the bath time ones. They have, like, wine and a book. Happy mail ones. This come with a ton. I love that. I got the little meerkats because they remind me of Avery, because we always call Avery a little meerkat, because she, she's meerkats. I don't know. She's just adorable. I got the ones of, of the little girl like flipping off people while riding a unicorn. I just thought that was pretty hysterical. I got the unicorn onesie ones. The movie stickers, or like the me time stickers, just like relaxing kind of while eating. You know, just me time. Um, I think this is like her summer bucket list. I thought this was really cute. So I got this one. I got the Lush bath bombs. The fitness ones. She has a bunch of different fitness ones, but I got the running ones because I want to start running a little bit. I got the cat couple ones because I thought these were really, really cute and they remind me a lot of me and Brian. I got the This Is Fine cats just because I thought this was hysterical and this could mark whenever I'm like super, super stressed, you know? Um, I got the party animal ones. I love the little cacti. I thought those were so cute. So I got the party animals. And I also think this is her summer sheet as well. I thought this would be perfect. I love the little unicorn floaty. So cute. Um, I got the ghosts. I thought these were hilarious. I don't know. I just like stuff like that. Um, I got a couple Easter sheets. So this is the first one. It's just like lonely Easter bunny onesie, black, relaxing, just chilling. And I think the other one was this one, just like the sassy Easter girl. I thought that was cute. And then this is the last sheet. It was sort of like the shopping sheet. I thought it was just adorable. So that is everything that I got from Fox and Cactus. Fox and Cactus is definitely becoming one of my newer favorite shops. So I had to get a bunch more stickers from them. And then of course I have all my stuff from Scribble Prince Co. So let's see here. I'll start with the little stuff. So I do have some $2 Tuesdays. This one is just by itself. Um, it's just one of the glitter headers. I don't normally grab any of the glitter headers, but these colors really stuck out to me. Um, I figured this like blue and purple pink kind of ombre here could work with any kit. So I grabbed these for in the future. And then I also grabbed some of the newer 
two dollar Tuesdays from this past week which was of like the scribble squad so I got an extra sheet of the girls night out because I tend to use these a lot so I thought this would be perfect of me Andrea and Jessica and then there's also like a scribble squad of us like in pool gear so I thought this would be cute as well for the summer and then I grabbed one of the little Jessica's with coffees because I thought this would be cute to mark hanging out with her I grabbed one of the Andrea pregnant for I don't know just marking her right now and then Maybe when she has a baby I'll use this. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I wanted to get one of those. And then I did grab three of the ones of me and Avery just because I thought they were so cute. I love the little Avery. I'll probably end up getting more of these, but I'm kind of obsessed with those. So those are the $2 Tuesdays I grabbed. And then I'll show you the three different mini kits I grabbed because we've had so many new releases lately, you guys. It's kind of crazy. So I grabbed the Work It Out mini kit because I liked this as a full kit, but I didn't know when I would use it as a full kit. But I like it as a mini kit because I can mark maybe when I start getting into a routine the week I did that. So the mini kit format is just the exclusive kit freebie, the functional page, your full boxes page, which looks like this. Um, your mini kit sheet here, which has some headers, little things, half boxes, quarter boxes, and appointment labels. And then a bottom washi, washi strips, deco, and two daily habit sheets. So this is the work it out let me do it like this. Work it out mini kit. And then every other mini kit has the same exact format. So this is the Hula mini kit, which I thought was really cute. I already have a larger kit in this, um, like with these papers. So I went ahead and just grabbed, um, what am I trying to say? A mini kit of this. Just in case, you know. So I have the exclusive kit freebie again. Your full boxes, which I really like this full box. And this full box, this one too. It reminds me of the lava Pixar short. It's really cute. Your functional page mini kit sheet and then washi sheet here so that's the hula mini kit and then lastly as far as mini kits go I grabbed the poolside mini kit I think I already have a week that I'm using this in my personal planner um, so this is what it looks like again exclusive kit freebie your full boxes which are crazy but I love them so much and then just your other sheets here and then I like how the deco has all the different popsicles on top I thought that was really cute so this is the poolside mini kit and then last but not least, I have two ultimate kits. The first one is the Hello June Ultimate. I grabbed this because I do do my Hello monthly mock spreads. So I really loved Hello June. The colors were like really perfect. They're seriously so tropical and fun. So this is the exclusive kit freebie. Your front page here, which has the three hidden flags, deco, icons, date dots, and time dots. I love the huge flamingo. Your functional sheet, half boxes sheet here ombre heart checklists, headers and patterned washi, littles, solid washi, and labels, uh, your full boxes, which again, I love these colors. I love Hello June. This is seriously one of my favorites. Your extra full box, bottom washi, and date cover strips. So that is the Hello June full kit. And then last but not least, I did also grab the Mother's Day Ultimate kit because I'm definitely using this for Mother's Day week. I haven't seen people do Mother's Day kits before, so when this came out, I was super excited. And then I also showed you guys the Mother's Day kit from Sticky Essentials as well. So not only did I just grab this kit, but I also grabbed the a la carte glitter headers, which are silver, which I really like. And then I also grabbed the a la carte uh, mommy and baby girl sheet. There's also a boy one, but I grabbed the girl sheet. I think I'm going to use this box. I really like this one. Um, so those are the two a la carte items I grabbed, but again, same kit format. Um, just really, really pretty. This could definitely be used for other than Mother's Day. Like, you could definitely use this for anything else, uh, just because it's very floral and pretty, and the colors are really nice. I love how the heart checklists have, like, the silver heart instead of, like, a white or a black. And again, with this being Mother's Day, you could totally not use this box and just use the extra full box, and I think it would work for any other week. So, that was everything that I have for this, this portion of the haul. Okay guys, so I'm here with the final part of my April Etsy sticker haul. It's kind of a shorter part, which is always nice. I have my mystery kit, my April mystery kit from the Glam Planner, and then I have a couple of kits from Sticky Essentials, including the May mystery kit. So I'm going to start with Glam Planner because it is her April mystery kit. And so the couple of extras that came this month were this little pen here. It looks like another one of those just like kawaii kind of pens. Um, I haven't actually tested how it writes yet, but it also came with this little Sweet Dreams uh, notebook. I don't really care for these notebooks. I do end up just passing them along. Let's see how the pen writes. 
Eh, it's okay. It's a little thin. I'll probably end up passing both of these along. I just don't care for these extras, and that's just my honest opinion. And then this is the April Mystery Kit. This is the final part of this haul, so this is like the fourth week of April, and I did just get this kit, um, which is kind of crazy. I know she's been running behind. Um, but yeah, so this is the April Mystery Kit here. So I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys and show you. And what I was thinking is since she has come out with a bunch of new different designs, I would love to see the sort of like essentials kit brought into her mystery kit with like the half box, or not the half boxes, the heart checklists and date covers and stuff. I think that would be a cool add-on to her subscription. So anyway, here's the first page here. It reminds me of a bunch of kits I've seen recently with like the little coffee and like the brunch and the bathtub. Really, really cute with like Instagram. And this is a blonde girl, but she does also offer the dark haired girl as well. So this page just has two large double boxes on it with some icons this is like a huge scene kit if I were to use this I don't see me using the double box uh, just because it would take up so much time or so much space really um, and then you have your heart checklists and then she does include and two extra boxes for us brunettes so this one would go here and then this one would go here in place of the blonde and then it has your weekly boxes and half check half checklists half boxes. Uh, then you have your weekend banner, some deco, flags, um, asterisks, a planner, a mailer, a bed, a credit card, two more flags here, the patterned ones, a movie marquee, a daily habit, a couple of appointment labels, and then two three heart checklists headers and little things and then your bottom washi and washi strips. So this was the April mystery kit from Glam Planner. I do really like this. It's definitely something that I feel like I've seen before just with like a different drawing like a different artist drew this but it's still really really cute so I'm definitely going to use that hopefully sometime in the future um, and then like I said I have two kits here from Sticky Essentials she did send these over to me which is really really sweet of her Basically, I've explained this before, but if you do order a mystery kit from Sticky Essentials, you do get the option to pick any kit in the shop that will be added in for free. So you basically get two for one, which I think is a really incredible deal. So this is the May Mystery Weekly Kit, and then she sent over the Tropic Love Weekly Kit. So with the mystery kit for May... You do get a blue Statler uh, Triplist Fine Liner. This is a really pretty blue color that will match the kit. And then this is like a mermaid theme kit, which is so pretty, like watercolory mermaid, which I love. So the front page here has your two flags, deco, date dots, and then, or date dots, and then date covers. The second page are your full boxes. Like I said, these are so pretty and like so watercolory. I really like that. This page has glitter headers and then glitter half boxes and quarter boxes, so like a glitter page. And then you have like a like a functional, a really, really functional page. I wanted to say front page, but it's a very functional page. You have icons, heart checklists, heart, um, three heart checklists to do, weekend banner dots, a teardrop, a bill do, things like that. Two weekly habits or weekly trackers, quarter boxes, half boxes, an appointment label, and then three dots here. And then the next page has your headers and little things ombre heart checklists and then your bottom washi and washi strips so you get a ton of stuff in this kit and then with the mystery kit you also do or like I said before you get to choose um, another kit in the shop and she did send me the mystery kit which was super nice so she also sent over the tropic love weekly kit and I'll briefly go through this just so you guys can see it I'm pretty sure it's the exact same layout so here is your front page with your deco and date covers then your full boxes, these are so pretty. I love the palm leaves. I love especially with the black and white stripes as the background. Your glitter page. And then your like front page, functional page. Um, more functional page here, another functional page. Headers and little things. Um, I'm sorry, I feel like I can't English right now. I'm really tired. All my heart check boxes. And then your bottom washi and washi strips. And I like how the bottom washi is this like really pretty gold foil. So that is it for everything from Sticky Essentials. And that is everything for this huge April Etsy sticker haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.